Hey guys, we are back in the garage and I'm starting just kind of slowly doing the install of the Rifab and uh, of the windshield. And um, so I've just gotten started by doing a couple of things. Um, number one, I've, I'm gonna use my, my ruler as a pointer here. Um, I've got this, uh, this first bracket installed. The first thing you do is this is where it will, uh, with the windshield will lay down against this and then there's a, um, uh, I don't know what you call it, thumb screw or whatever that, uh, that will actually latch it down. Now, I did not have to remove the roof um, per the instructions because I had the earlier windshield on and it used these same holes. So these were already uh, drilled out. So I did not have to do that. Um, and um, I do have though, just to show you, I do have the, the premium uh, with the headliner. So um, all I did was I pulled out, back up here, pulled out these two screws right here. These uh, come with it. These are, uh, I think they're T, T30s, I believe, um, T40s. So just pulled those out and that gives me enough room to just get in here and I'll be able to get in here with a wrench as well to do the final tightening. Um, but that's what, uh, what I've done thus far. Um, I will say one of the nice things, the way that the Rifab's done this is that, so these are carriage style bolts. So they got the square head on there so you don't have to hold it down. Um, and then also, and it looks like these are grade, these are grade five. You can see the, the three, uh, the three stripes on there. So, um, what they've done is the washers are actually a little tight, which is kind of nice because when these go on here, when you're doing this with uh, just one person, actually they kind of hold on uh, while you get the nut started. So that was really nice. Um, again, I'll be tightening these down um, once I get the windshield installed and actually ensure that I got this in the right place. So, um, and the same thing with, uh, with this, uh, this hold down bolt as well. Um, I've left that loose and I'll, I'll tighten that down once I get uh, everything set. I also too got the windshield wiper that I had. I got that, um, got that done and what, the reason I had the, the ruler was I wanted to show you basically from, from the pivot point to the center of, so this point right here, the center of the windshield wiper is approximately 10 inches, um, nine and three quarters to 10 inches, somewhere in there. And I've got my handle already on there. And so what we would do is, it looks like they've got a, a place for like a, a retaining bolt or something like that. I'll probably just plug that hole. I don't, don't think I'm gonna need that. Um, or actually, I guess probably what I will need it for is when the windshield is in its down position, I don't want this to go flapping around forward. Uh, although I suppose I could leave it, leave it like that. But anyway, I'll, I'll figure that out later. But, um, I got this, got this installed and you can see, I'm trying to do this one handed here, as you can see, it does, does go back and forth. It should have a nice arc right in front of the driver too, which would be nice. So, um, really kind of looking forward to testing that out on the trail, but that's, uh, that's where we are thus far. Um, stay tuned for more. I'm basically going to keep doing a bunch of these uh, little short uh, snippets and kind of go through the install notes for everything. But it's going well so far.